Hi, today's video will be very, very different. So I'm filming, I have my camera on the water and I'm observing all the action on my laptop. And I have everything ready. That's my rod, my net. And really now I'm just watching and waiting for some big fish to turn up. Really, I've been feeding for some time now, but all I seen were smaller fish. Actually, now I just seen a chub coming in, like decent one, but uh, that fish was quite a, quite away from the camera, like, like a silhouette almost. So yeah, I will wait a little bit longer and hopefully those bigger specimens will show themselves and closer to the camera as well. So yeah, it's really exciting stuff. I will introduce a little bit of bait or a little bit more of bait. Ooh, that's a nice chub, right on cue. Nice. Very, very nice fish. So I'm not feeding a lot, just a little bit. And I will observe how those pellets are landing. I can see some pellets. Some small fish try to nail them like on the drop. It is ridiculous. Another decent chub. But yeah, like fish like that, so 10, 15 centimeter like this, eating four mil pellets, no problem whatsoever. Another big chub, a little bit further from the camera, small perch. I can see all sorts, you know, I can see, ooh, big chub, right in the shot there, right in the shot. So I can see roach, days, small chub, big chub, some bleak perch. Really, proper mixed bag. Good John, yeah. Decent chub is just circling. Right in the shot now, that fish is right in the shot. Just fill the screen. <laughs> Soon I will be able to cast out, I'm certain. Those big chubs, they are looking like for a, for a big meal, you know? Fed and, and spooked, actually. Interesting, I don't have any rigs or nothing like that. Just spooked. Just like, out. Let's wait and see if that fish will come back, you know? I'm certain it will. Yeah, I can see some big chub in like a bit further from the camera. Whether it's the same fish or not, not too sure. Still, when I look at the screen, I can see like odd pellet between the stones, so so small fish are not getting everything. So once the bubble will get, you know, onto the smell, I'm certain they will sniff it out, you know, and just come and push those small stones around just to get to, the, to them pellets. It's like a proper fish tank, ridiculous amount of fish in, in this river. Really, I do not want to catch like, you know, bags and bags of fish underwater cam for underwater camera. One good bite when the hook bait in, is in the right position, that's more than enough, you know? Well, that is exactly what I would want. <laughs> if I will get more, that will be a bonus, obviously. I'm certain when the bubble will come in, if they will come in, they will push those small fish around like immediately. Chub is circling, further from the camera. Maybe I will add a little bit more bait. Just to keep them interested, you know. I'm trying, you know, to be as sneaky as I can uh, when I'm feeding. Basically, I'm walking towards the water sedge and just 
gently feeding my little dose. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. Perfect. Right in the shot. That was nice. Little bit of feeding. Right in the shot. Yeah, tiny fish are eating those four mil pellets like no problem what at all. Ooh, pike? What that pike is doing there? What? What? Pike just pew, went through the shot. That is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? But those small fish, they are not bothered. Like pike went through. Small fish are still there. Still very interesting, you know, I never seen like pike today in the shot. So chub, chub, chub. It just, you know, uh, goes to show that towards the evening, uh, fish will start to move more around as we know. And yeah, chub. And hopefully, yeah, uh, uh, those bubble will come in. I'm certain that chub will be tricky to catch on, you know, uh, in very clear water. I mean, what? Is that pike just hovering above my camera? Yeah, I just can see. I mean, just in the left right corner there, that pike fin. What? What? That pike is still there. That is ridiculous. <laughs> the chub are kind of okay. I mean, they're not coming very close, but they're just hovering a little bit away. But smaller fish definitely are kind of skittish now. They are not coming as close to the camera as that pike is above the camera. That's for sure. That is insane. Oh, big chub, big chub, big chub. I'll put a little bit more of food. Maybe I'll spook that pike with, a f with, with some pellets. I hope. Yeah, that pike is still there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, see? See? <laughs> what? <laughs> Here are my pellets. Yeah, Pike actually moved away. It worked out beautifully. Yes, we got rid of that Pike finally. <laughs> and Chubb is coming right on cue. And small fish are kind of behind the pike. Chub is in the mix already. You know what? Now it's a good time to cast out. Can the fish feel, I don't know, safer once that pike moved out or what? It's so exciting. I'll go like extra big bait, like two mussels. And let's see, you know, big, chunky, visible, you know, hook bait. Yeah, let's check it out. Perfect. Yeah, as you can see, my hook bait is almost right in the center, maybe a little bit to the left, but still in the very... Come on, you small days, just leave that bait alone. Just leave it alone for some big chub. Big chub is coming, it's coming, it's coming. Come on. And now I'll put a bit more food in just to get them big chub back. See, those small fish are trying to eat my muscle. 
Come on. Odd pellet is dropping here and there. Kind of hoping that towards the evening, you know, those small fish will be less active, but they are not giving up. That day is still trying to eat my, like, that's a good roach. <laughs> I want to see like bubble coming in, you know, and snuffling properly. That would be something. Chub went past. This is exciting stuff, guys. Very, very exciting stuff. See those small fish are pecking like at, at my hook bait. It's ridiculous, like lifting it. Come on, like like little piranhas, you know. But if big chub will come in, most likely it will chase them off and try to, you know, to steal. Oh, here it is. No, just went further from the camera. So small fish are still trying to eat my bait. Big chub is coming, is coming. Come on, big chub, just look at that bait. It might turn around and take it. Come on, you chub. Another chub, another chub. Come on. Those chub are tricky. Those small fish are Still not giving up, they are trying to eat my muscle. Come on, leave it alone. Really, I need some bubble in, in my swim. They would sort it out. Let's put some more pellets in. Yep, can see some pellets falling through. I can see plenty of pellets like in the shot now really. Obviously most of them are close to the camera where chub are not coming in lately so close at least those days are just not giving up they are just eating bit by bit my bait what still good chunk is remaining you know if correct chub will turn up or few of them in a row they just might snatch it even though it, it's not exactly perfect been eaten up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, now for the last couple minutes I haven't seen any like chub at all. Here it is, finally. Lately those chubs they are not feeding, they are just going past it like quite high in the, well, not that high, but away from the bottom, like not in a feeding mode almost. Here it is, it's going, going in the opposite direction. So small days are just, look how, how aggressive they are, that's ridiculous. Very 
aggressive fish these are. My hook bait actually is now still in perfect position, like right on that little stone, very visible. <laughs> Those days are just, just look, they're just not giving up, just bit by bit, bit by bit. And it's a, you know, perfect example how fish would, you know, like, destroy like your luncheon meat or whatever. Chub is coming, chub is coming, come on chub. Ah, I was thinking it will go for that hook bait, but no. But yeah, soft baits, you know, when you fish statically like on the, on the ledger, just in summer they just are getting destroyed. Obviously now I can see it and you know, I picked a mussel because it's a big bait and fish just want to eat it, as you can see, even small fish. But in general, I would not leave such a bait more than five minutes in the water. And that's it, I can't see my hook bait anymore. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Come on, there are a few chub around. Come on, this you leave that bait alone. That's enough. My hook bait is right in the middle, well, or what's left of that. There it is, big chub, just not even stopping. Closer to the camera. Big chub is circling, or no? That's a is the was the bubble? Not too sure. Really, not too sure. Was the chub or a bubble? That is a bubble. That is a bubble. Finally, I waited. Here it is. I will get a bite. You will see. Here it is. Two of them actually. How about that? They will find my hook bait. They moved camera, those devils. Okay, my hook bait is right in the center there. They will find it. They will find it, guys. I was thinking, what is that? Is it a chub or a bubble? Come on, just, just find that bait. My hook bait is right in the middle. And I have a couple of bubbles right on the dance floor. I mean, now they moved out, but they are in the area and feeding, you know. That's, that's very good, you know, very, very good sign. And I have some pellets uh, around my camera, like my bait is in front of the camera as well. I hope those small days will leave my hook bait alone and I will get that bubble taking my hook bait just, just on time. Even though I'm losing the light, I mean, I have maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes of filming or something. Definitely less small fish around, definitely less small fish. What? Here it is, bubble is coming, and the pike is in the shot. Look, 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 that, come on, just take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Did you see it? That was insane, that, it, it, definitely it was sniffing my, my bait. Look, look, what is that pike? Look, look, bubble pushed pike away, another bubble. That is ridiculous television, that is insane. That is so exciting, guys. That is so exciting. Look, that pike is... Come on, that pike is covering the screen. Are you kidding me? 
are covering the camera, should I say. Just get out of there, you pike, stupid pike. Come on. Okay, I will try to chuck some bait, you know, on top of that pike just to just to scare uh, her away. Because I had Baba looking at my bait already and like thinking, should I eat it or what? Look, I mean, that's just stupid. Pike is covering lens like big time, look. <laughs> Damn it, that was insane. You know what, that is insane. While that pike was covering the lens, Bubble came in and nailed my bait. Come on. That is such a bad luck. Or is that chub? No, that's a bubble. I'll get that net. We'll check what's up. And that pike is still sitting there. Okay, have a look guys. That bubble took my bait whilst that pike was hovering onto the camera. <laughs> Lovely little fish though. Okay, let's go back. Bye. You know what? I'm calling it. Uh, really, I can't see much under the water, even though it's kind of relatively bright out. But yeah, it's way dark under the water. Therefore, I'm calling it. And yeah, what I have learned, one thing for sure, I have to make sure that no pike around next time when I'm trying to do some underwater filming and not for pike obviously. Uh, I can't believe that that pike messed up my fishing so bad. So bad. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.